Ruckus in the Maldives Parliament after government MPs disrupt proceedings over Parliament and the Speaker's functioning. A key vote was to take place today over parliamentary approval for the Moizu cabinet. This is an exclusive video that Vion has access from the inside of the Parliament. All right, let's go across to our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhant Sibyl, joining us live from New Delhi. Siddhant, thanks for joining us here on this broadcast. And could you get us up to speed with what led to the ruckus that is taking place in the parliament of Maldives? Well, we have seen dramatic visuals coming from uh, the Maldivian parliament uh, earlier today. Now, essentially what has happened is that an extraordinary session of the parliament was called under which uh, the Muizo cabinet's name were to get a parliamentary approval. Now, this is a difficult job for uh, the ruling dispensation because the parliament is under the control of the opposition MDP, that is the opposition party. It has uh, a majority in the parliament while the ruling uh, party, which is the uh, PPM and PNC, it does not has the majority MPs. Now, essentially, the MDP approved the name of 18 of the names suggested uh, by the Muizo government uh, of the 22 names which were given. So, four names weren't approved. And amid the ensuing development, we know the day started uh, with the opposition MPs being logged out from the parliament floor initially and then thereafter we saw uh, the visuals of the violence erupting where we saw the government MPs trying to stop the speakers functioning and uh, in uh, the dramatic visuals we have also seen one government MP also uh, being part of the vi violence and also sustaining injuries. He has now been taken uh, to the hospital. In fact, some of them have been taken to hospital but uh, uh, the visuals of course show the dramatic situation in the country right now. now earlier we saw the MDP party along with other opposition party that the the uh, the, um, the the parties basically calling on the government to do several things including of course um, pointing out to its stance uh, on foreign policy saying that it has taken a very dramatic uh, turn right. when it comes to its uh, uh, India policy and India has been a main development partner. So uh, amidst these developments, today's de um, uh, development from the Maldives parliament shows that uh, we are looking for some rough weather for the Muizu government. Absolutely, it seems so. In fact, uh during this ongoing diplomatic row between New Delhi and Malay, Maldives President Mohamed Moizu extended his greetings to India on the occasion of the 75th Republic Day. He uh, recalled the centuries-old friendship which he said, but this friendship, Siddhant, is being put under question since Moizu has taken power. How do you see this diplomatic row panning out in the days to come? Well, it looks like India-Maldives relationship uh, since Muizu government took charge has been uh, facing the pressure. Whether it is uh, the comments made uh, the by the MP, uh, by the ministers in the Muizu government, or whether it is the remarks made by Muizu himself, he of course has been saying that India should remove its troops. But uh, these troops are basically technicians who are involved in maintaining of Indian platforms for humanitarian purposes. But that said, we know that he has taken a starkly pro-China chance later this uh, month we will see the visit of uh, a Chinese spy vessel as well uh, which is known as a Chinese research vessel to Maldives which is happening after a break of perhaps almost four or five to uh, six years so essentially he is banking on China and trying to play that China card with India um, we really do not know when this will last but it looks like that India Maldives relationship will be under the cold uh, cold uh, phase for a pretty long time because of the actions taken by the Muizu government and he of course essentially came to power on a very anti-India plank, right. the India Out movement and that is something that he is trying to pander to his uh, vote bank uh, and of course uh, to his own politics in the country. Alright Satan, thank you, thank you for getting us all those insights and developments from New Delhi.